All right. We're here with Tyvar, Jubilant Brawler. And what's cool about this is we look like a typical black-green elf thing. We're just playing elves, doing elf thing, minding our own <clears throat> elf things, minding our own business. But secretly, we're in a server rack combo deck. I've only seen this once played against me, and it uh, caught me off guard, so I'm going to try it. We just play a server rack with any discount um, thing like Nylea or Bantu's Monument, um, Paradox Engine with like three things that can generate mana that you can untap and repeatedly recast this. Uh, things that tap for two are really strong with Paradox Engine, like more in Power Stone. And the really MV the MVP one would be this because it untaps alone with a Sererak, right? You just tap the two and you cast a Sererak over and over. This only creates two mana, but any of these discounts make it so I can loot. Oh, I think, uh, yeah, Goreclaw. Goreclaw also is a uh, discounter too. So with Goreclaw, I think... No, I don't think there's any creature I can play that taps for black except Delighted Halfling. I'm pretty sure. Uh, there's some that require another creature to tap with it, and that obviously wouldn't really work without Paradox Engine specifically, so that, that wouldn't be great. But yeah, that could work too, but yeah, Dor Goreclaw discounts it by two. So we have a bunch of tutors and a bunch of discard spells. Might need some removal, who knows? Um, the Great Henge might also not be a good idea if I have... This coming in play repeatedly, I might actually deck out. I don't know if that's going to happen, but it's probably not likely. Also, drawing your entire deck is pretty good. You know, even if you don't go infinite with this and, like, actually kill your opponent, you do it, like, 20 times, drawing 20 cards, you're probably going to win. Who knows? If you find Shieldred, your opponent might just scoop. But uh, there's a chance you still lose. I don't have something like Ulamog in here. But I'm more concerned about removal anyways. I have Journey to Eternity and you are <clears throat> in here just in case something goes horrendously wrong and I like I get this going. Probably should just be like a murderous rider though, to be totally honest with you or uh Maelstrom Pulse. But for now that is what it is. Fauna Shaman, I hadn't owned this card before. This is pretty neat. I don't have a million creatures. But it's probably pretty easy to get rid of something at some point, a mana dork, to find a discounter or specifically a Sererak, so shouldn't be too difficult to do that. But uh, there's a good chance I want to add some big scary threat or some other way to really attack my opponent that isn't just flooding the board with mana dorks. But as it stands, this is how it's going to start. Like, comment, subscribe. Here we go. Cool. What a what a uh, what a great outcome there. I'm just wasting my time. Just, just whatever. Cool. Yep. Okay. Never mind. I'm just dead. Cool. Davriel has a fetish for existing. That is that is that is for sure. Young Pyromancer. Ugh, that is not good. <laughs> that is not good. Oh boy. Alright, so I can tutor one piece, two piece. Still feels kind of slow, but as long as they don't have a ton of interaction, I guess, which, I mean, what do we... What are we talking about here? It's literally a Jeskai non-creature spell deck. If they somehow don't have interaction. So I play this. I do that. This. Do I kill Dav? Well, I can do minus Davril here. Does that make sense? I feel like it does. I feel like killing this buys more time than it doesn't. Maybe that doesn't make any sense. 
Davriel dying to a 1-1 token is like the stupidest thing in the universe. I can get Conduit of Worlds to undo that. Alright, I'm just activating this. We're going to go get the boy. That is not their commander. They have the minus to kill something? I guess they don't have the minus because I uh it's dead already. Could have just swung with it. It's kind of a complete waste of a strangle, but I guess I'm not upset. Um so I can play Tyvar and Tudor. So I take Goreclaw. And I just plus Tyvar. Is there anything in my graveyard to pick up? No. Alright. So if this lives, I can... Uh... No, it's not going to live, is it? I don't think it's going to live. They can't realistically give me the Wishclaw Talisman back. Oh, they didn't minus. Okay. Well, if they had Strangle right now, Tyvar would die, as opposed to last turn. Which would have uh, made more sense. So I can spam a Sururak three times. And then, wow, that was just a stupid... That uh, Did I just top deck the best card of my deck? No way. I just ta I literally just found the the best card in my deck. Wow. Didn't even need the wishclaw talisman. Well, lightning bolt doesn't do it anymore. This is out of range. I don't do I, I guess I do need Co gore claw though. I would need gore claw. Alright, we got him. I guess they don't have an answer. They have something here. I don't know what it could possibly be, but... Nice. Wow. Yeah, if it wasn't... It was probably a cantrip. It wasn't Lightning Bolt. That was... That was it. I mean, that was a 1 in 84? Yeah, it was a 1 in 84 chance. <laughs> I just... Cheesed out the top deck. Alright, this is different. This is different. I'm going to bank on a green source at some point. There's no way we don't find one, right? No way! Ah, uh, bu 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 bu. This lets me cast Shieldred next turn. They're mono green, so it could just sit in play for like 10 turns. Okay, that's fine. I don't really interact with their stuff that much anyways. Put two counters on a bear. Bear fights creature you don't control. Alright, so that's only for bears. This is a very good draw. That means... Uh, wait, wait, let's slow down here. Can I play Tyvar? I think I should just play Tyvar instead of not playing Tyvar. I can play... This... And then I can use these to play this right now. I guess I should. I don't really like tapping down, but... 
That's fine. I mean, this is just good, right? So I take a server rack, I think. Oh, wait, no. This is not a normal tutor. Hold up. I can't cheat. <laughs> this one doesn't let me cheat. All right, I'll just take that then. All right, well, it's bears only. So, yep, I was about to say, you can only play bears. <laughs> you can only play bears to trigger this on target bear. So I guess it always targets itself, and then it gets bigger and bigger. My opponent had, like, the dream scenario, but unfortunately, if they fight this, it dies. Um, and there's not that many bears in historic... <laughs> there's not that many bears in Magic Arena. So you have, like what maybe seven is there like seven bears in this game and then there's another like 12 in uh the changelings changelings of the shapeshifter so all right that's kind of cool kind of wish i saw more but to the surprise of no one they just fold it to shield it on turn three that's unfortunate i would have liked to have seen more of that mono green but it isn't like degenerate nonsense well it probably still was but i would have liked to see the bears <laughs> like a two minute two two bear with no text that would have been cool to see but uh, we don't live in that reality it's not our world we live in all right minidork minidork mina 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 what's the strongest thing you can do this you fool all right um is this an elf? Nope. Is this an elf? Nope. There's no reason to play this then. Doesn't get uh, bigger or anything like that. Alright, well I'm unfathomably ahead right now. Um, I can't play both of these. Tyvar. And then play... You? No, you know what? I'll play this because it's just safer from something weird. I mean, there's not really any three-minute sweepers, though. None I would expect. There's Bontus, I guess. Okay. They have no white, but they do have double blue. Menorock. Haro, maybe. What is this? Looks like a Haro, or the other Haro. Alright, yeah. Oh, I'm so smart. <laughs> Look at me and my smartness. What else could it be, right? They didn't even mouse over a land and I called it. I'm a genius. That's probably still going to lose. Alright, they found their white. They took themselves off of blue. Okay. This puts a land tapped, right? Yeah. Reliquary Tower, that's... That's a magic card. Alright, so let's play you. Can I dig this up right now? I need to do this and then untap it. For the second black. Because I would like to do this. Find a server rack. And then I can play you. And then I can play you. Alright, so I'm not going to play this because I don't want it to die. Oh, that was an elf. Lol. Cool. I don't think I've ever put a plus one plus one counter on Marin in my entire life. Opponent, that is that is not a board wipe. What, what is this? What are we doing with this? What is... What is... What? Okay, so let's see if this resolves. It does. Um, black, black. Cast this. I don't have infinite. Like, this doesn't go infinite. And we avoid the tome. We do... Which one? This one? No, it's this one. I 
Again, this is not a combo. If my opponent's paying attention, they'll see that I don't, I don't have a infinite here. But it's really close. All right, nice. Um, yeah, so I kind of expected someone to like scoop when it wasn't actually over. All right, I can do. I can only do this one, two, three. Like four or five more times, and then I can't do it anymore. Also, I don't have a leave the game button. The game just exploded. Uh, so we'll be back after technical difficulties have been managed. This is the prowess. Yeah. This is the weird, like, this is the wannabe feather deck. Not much card draw in it. Bowmasters better do something real dirty. Don't know what that thing is, but let's hope it's something good. Maybe these two can buy me enough time to just win the game? <laughs> oh, I didn't hit my saga. Oh, no, this is only shrines, excuse me. Obvious pump spell is obvious. Okay, that's a good sign. Good sign. Let's play you. I'm gonna very decidedly block with this uh, Chancellor here. Or Chronicler. That's adorable. Well, it better kill Liliana right now. Nope. Wait, really? We're protecting this token? No way. Opponent, this doesn't work, though. It doesn't work. It dies on my turn. It dies when you untap. <laughs> it doesn't work. Get schmied it. Get schmied it. Oh, you don't have another land? Rip skis. Rip skis. Oh, hey, it's Davriel that my opponent knows about. Oh, this is uh, this is a pretty good matchup, huh? Yep. Yeah. Like I said, Liliana's doing crazy stuff. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, we just we just completely pummeled. We just completely pummeled this deck here. I don't even think I tapped this for mana. No, I didn't. Okay. So it's always nice to play the things that don't tap immediately over like Arcane Signet. But I did just draw something really strong, so I'll do that instead. All right. Take your explore. Portal to Phyrexia. Interesting. Alright, land. Uh, I don't know how useful Shieldred is, but it's more useful in play than in my hand, so that answers that question. <laughs> okay, yep. My opponent's playing some of the weirdest cards I've ever seen, but... They, uh, they, certainly, they certainly showed me. Alright, so Tyvar sucks. This deck sucks. It's not good. Um, there's not a way to consistently get any pieces. Yeah, I'm going to just stop playing this now. This is just bad. It's not enjoyable. I'm trying to do the same thing every game, and it's not. It's not. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay, so this is horrendously bad. Um, if you want to play Tyvar... You just go in with the elves and the tapping and the weird elf ball nonsense or whatever, which I don't really care to do. But for an Asurarat combo scam deck, this is just horrible. You need way too many cards, and you somehow need to have the time to get there, and your opponent also can't like answer that stuff. right? If you're trying to get Asurarat and Gwena, which you're basically always trying to do, and then some kind of discount, any discount, which is a three-card combo. Three-card combos are not that strong, especially when one of those pieces probably has to come and play a turn early. Like, Tyvar to give Gwena haste means 
that's six mana right there in that turn. So you have to play like the discount thing a turn early or something, like uh, Bantu's on turn three or turn five, right? And then Tyvar Gwena on turn six and have a Sir Rack in hand, right? So you need your discount. You need something in play already, even if it is the Gwena. You could cast Gwena and then the next turn discount a server rack and then you would win that way but uh that, that that would not require tyvar because gwena would have been in play for a turn but gwena has to be in play for a turn the 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 one game i flipped journey to eternity i uh my opponent had casualties of war so i don't know what to tell you um so I couldn't loot things when they were dying. And, you know, this this gave extreme resilience, but it just wasn't good enough in that game. And that was a very slow game, because my opponent has Casualties of War in their deck. So it's a slow deck, right? And I still lose horribly. Too many things have to go right. Now, you can just kill your opponent's stuff, right? Add more removal. But if you do that, you're not really winning with the combo. You're just playing removal spells. Your opponent can keep drawing cards and finding new things to threaten you with. So if you're just repeatedly answering their stuff, you're not really getting ahead, right? You're playing lands, and you might be able to slowly build up your combo in hand while you're answering your opponent's stuff, just going back and forth as like a green-black removal deck, sort of, and less ramp, like way less ramp. That's... Whatever whatever you do is better than what I did, that's for sure. You can't you cannot possibly get worse than this unless you're just playing all like I don't know, you add all the mana rocks or something weird, take out all these. Um you can yeah, so the engine is good if you have a bunch of mana dorks in play at the same time. So now we're asking for a deck that doesn't have a board wipe. And apparently every deck has a sweeper, even if it's playing young pyromancers and ledger shredders. So I wouldn't even rely on that as your, like, you know, the Paradox Engine untapping three mana dorks and then doing it. That also works. But again, that's four cards right there before you need this. So it's actually five. Um, this It's just way, way too much. You're asking for way too much, um, which is very unfortunate. The Henge is just almost unplayable as well, I've noticed. I probably should have thought about that more. Uh, the I don't really discount this that much. Right, I'm not playing anything moderately large, so this doesn't actually ever <laughs> get cast. It's just so difficult to actually discount this in a reasonable amount. And then by the time I do, I don't really need it. So it, this is just completely useless. So yeah, if I was going to go uh, take a second shot at this, I would drop a lot of these mana dorks. The Great Henge, um, some other random stuff, and just add typical black-green... Removal spells like Assassin's Trophy, Casualties of War, Maelstrom Pulse, probably Crux of Fate and the other Black Sweepers. That seems really stupid, but... Yeah, actually, I think you just start with the removal spells, Murderous Rider, all the two mana ones too, right? Heartless Act and, and the like, before I started going into Sweepers. I think that would be a little bit more reasonable, because, uh, yeah, as it stood, this did not work. Um, even the Conduit of Worlds... I had this in play, I think, three games or two. And I'm like, yeah, I'll just loop Davriel over and over. Oh, that's just not enough, right? It's not enough to just get Davriel once a turn. I still have to, like, do something. I'm still... It doesn't let me win. I'm not, like, pulling ahead that much. It's not fast enough. So the value from this card is probably too slow unless you're, like, in top deck mode with your opponent. Then it's, like, great. But when does that really ever happen? You know, it doesn't really happen. And this isn't normal commander where you have three opponents and the game is like, you will usually, usually really slowed down unless you're playing like super competitive commander. Um, so this, this could be useful there, but one-on-one, -on -one, this does not seem, it's like a shieldred, the big shieldred, but can hit other permanents, but the big shieldred can let you cast other spells and does what you want anyways. Like yeah, this just doesn't seem great. It, I like the land thing, I guess, but I'm not putting my lands in my graveyard, so... I don't know. Let me know what you thought about this weird jank combo. Uh, if you have advice to make it better, let me know, but as it stood, I wouldn't advise it. 
like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.